Hi there. I'm so excited to share our thoughts on the gut health this month. Almost 100 million of us Americans suffer from GI disorders. Some of the GI disorders are structural or anatomical disorders, meaning there's something wrong when you do a CT or an ultrasound, uh, endoscopy, colonoscopy, there might be an ulcer, there might be a stone, there might be a stricture, uh, there might be a diverticula, etc. But 40% of the time, there's nothing wrong in these imaging studies, yet you don't feel normal. You're bloated, distended, constipation, diarrhea, and those all together, almost 40% of the gut issues are labeled as functional GI disorders. Leaky gut is one of the most common functional GI disorder. And it is simple to understand this if you imagine a leaky pipe. In the normal situation, the lining of the gut is made of cells which are interlocked with each other like this with the help of a protein called zonulin. Two things. One, the toxins in the environment. And second, we becoming too clean for our own good. Both of this damage this protein zonulin along with it disturbs the delicate balance of the microbiome in our gut. With these things, the junctions, instead of being tightly sealed with each other, become leaky. Now, as it becomes leaky, the bad stuff in your gut seeps through this and stimulate the underlying immune system. As a result, inflammation, which travels throughout your body and leads to a variety of illnesses from eczema to allergies to autoimmune conditions like rheumatoid arthritis, Hashimoto's, inflammatory bowel disease, emotional and memory issues, etc. Believe it or not, it all begins at gut. I hope that helped. I'll see you next week.